On this bed, the irrigation does not work as well because the tube has to go kind of up and then down. And it goes all the way around behind me to get to that point. So I have two Oyas in here, so that helps a lot. This is the exciting news. There's still life in my orange tie. At least it's making a pepper. More bugs? Yeah, I can. There's so many bugs. We need to spray. Yeah. Let's water it well with some fish fertilizer and then spray. The root of the four o'clock. It's a major tuber. You make another one here. You can cut them back and then they'll grow back from the tuber, but we have so many and they drop so many seeds. At any rate, some of this is cleared out a little bit. The forest doesn't look very good when it's first cut. Okay, now you have a room for planting. I know. I can't wait. When you see a lot of room, oh, you look crazy. <laughs> Just plant it right away. Plant it, cover everything. <laughs> you know me too well. Eric has given me African blue basil a major haircut. See? This, all this, this is the problem is it cut. grows so fast and all the life is in the top and the that's cut. reaching the sun. Yeah. It's a lot of dead underneath. See? This is gotta go. Exactly. But let me cut the, the big one. This is not in my list. This is not on the list. See? <laughs> yes, well. Yeah. And it's lunchtime. Lunch. Oh dear. See? See? A lot of dead. A lot I want to do in the back. But that's got to come out because it looks awful. Huh? The, the bee is not happy with me. Mm-mm. It's not going to look great, but at least we'll be able to walk through there. Here is this morning's harvest. I'm collecting the shallot blooms for the seeds. I'm going to try to grow shallots for the first time from seed. I'm going to put the lemon verbena in my freezer to have for tea whenever I want it. At least two pounds of burgundy beans, some of which are already dried. And I've got my tomatoes. And we found about five more passion fruit, so that little basket is full. And my oranges and lemons. Busy morning. Eric is having a little lunch and I'm sitting down for a moment and believe it or not, I don't feel too bad. My back is not hurting and I'm wondering it's either the English breakfast tea or my garden endorphins kicking in. I'd love to give shout outs to my fans and I'd like to give a shout out to one of my oldest fans, meaning he's watched me from the beginning, I believe, for six years, and that's Angel Amaro. And Angel is a Southern California gardener. He is a retired postman, and I hope one of these days to get out and see his garden. So I just wanna thank you, Angel, for all your support for all these years. You're an angel. This is what it looks like after Cutting back the lemon verbena. And cleaning up the beans. You know, I think beans are the slipperiest little vegetable because you can look at the plant 10 different directions and go inside and come back and see five more beans. This looks pretty bald here and I'm sure the bees are very unhappy but we had to do it. Everything underneath this big row of spires on top winds up dead because it doesn't get any sun. This actually started out four little four inch plants. I put one here and I put three over there. I still think we need to get some of this off of the fig tree so we can see our figs in here. And over here, nice and cleaned out. This comfrey looks fantastic. This is the one I took my poultice from. And this tomato is rotten. And this tomato is rotten. How did we miss this? Oh gosh. We haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. 
I figured it was under there in the beans. You know that A lot of bugs for it to eat, that's for sure. So it's all done? All done. See, this is that. You can keep it the little one. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. Like that. See? This is, is not good. Okay? Okay. Thick, fast. Not going to be much left. Unless it blooms again. Out. I think that one's almost done. Okay. One more over there, Eric. Okay. Not quite sure why they're turning yellow. So oh, okay, the I saw the that's little the goldfinch. Yeah, that's what they do. They eat the leaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are the scarlet runners. Oh, I see the. Uh, <laughs> The passion fruit passion is not fruit. content to be in the front yard. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Gorgeous. Do you see behind it? Behind it's it? nice to know something oh. grows well oh. here. Oh. See? <laughs> see? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's hanging too low. Can you cut it? Cut it with yeah. the saw. I think so. It's ready. Oh, I know. Do you do you want to eat it? Oh yeah, yeah. Whoa. Can, can you hold the like this? Okay. Okay, like okay. that. This is the best. Okay, ready. Okay. This is my first sugar cane. <laughs> ever? Ever, ever. Oh, they don't have this in El Salvador? See? Yeah. You mean your first one here? In, my, in the Palisade. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, this is, you can eat this. Okay. okay. This is, you can plant it. Oh my gosh. Plant it. Of course, that's true. Open it up, open like this. Where could we plant it? This. Okay. Two pieces. Oh, that's right. Okay. You can, you can put it, see this is the babies. We can put it temporary or in, in the little pot like this. When the grow is coming, planting in the ground. Okay, see? let's do it. You just kind of skin it? Yeah, take, take this out. Okay, now. Oh, you just chew it up. I thought you ate. Mmm, mmm, here you go. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. Mmm, very nice. Maybe you don't give me any more. Okay. Mmm, very nice. So sweet. So sweet, but it's, it's too big. So we cut it in, in like one inch, inch, inch. You can eat more each. Mmm, <laughs> it is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sugar. Don't eat this. You only eat the sugar. Okay. Mm? It's good. Mm? Or oh, the, the feed inside. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. All full. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So just leave it in the sun. L and leave it, it out. leave it like that in the sun for a couple of days. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay. If we have sun. <laughs> <laughs> All these four o'clocks have finished blooming. Ouch. And uh, so he's gonna cut them back. And we're gonna leave the tubers in hope that it blooms again. If I had other flowers that were like that, ready to go in there, I would just pull out the tubers because plenty of seeds have dropped, so I will definitely have more next year. A lot of seeds. See? Yes, the, Everywhere. the seeds are huge. See? The seeds are bigger than a black peppercorn. <laughs> it's perfect time to do it. Look see? at the nasty. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Take a picture. 
<laughs> By the way, these are spider mites, so that's really nasty. We need to put this somewhere where it'll be safe. We'll see if this works. At least I can keep an eye on it. You showed me how to eat the sugar cane. I had never done that. Um, Have you ever eaten raw okra? No. Never? never. Try one. How, how, how you eat? Like, just like that? Oh, wow. These are my peppers left over from last year. These two are Pantelleria seeds I got from the island of Pantelleria off Sicily. This is long red cayenne. I don't remember what this is. And this is Jimmy Nardello. So we're going to do a little harvest. notice that there are squash or cucumbers growing out of every one of these pots because they came up in the compost, the worm compost. Not a ton of peppers, but peppers are always beautiful. This is, we need to protect them from a liver cream. Everything always. is yellow. Why is it yellow? A lot of sun. No, see the fruit? It's yellow. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask about that. <laughs> what about the squash? Is there anything left? No, no. They're all dead? There, they're all chomping away on my beans. If you're watching on mobile, which 55% of you are, be sure and check out my community page posts, which will appear in your feed. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll enjoy these. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that face of that pretty girl up there. Oh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.